Okay, so there's a new version of Twister OS, and thanks to Riley Davies for letting me know, Twister OS 2.0 has just come out, and if you go to the Twister OS site, uh, you can download it or you can torrent it. The torrent is much quicker in my experience. The, the download was, was going to take ages. And you just write the image with Raspberry Pi Imager. So I've been using Twister OS, my favorite operating system, on this 120 gig Sunbow SSD drive. But I have a faster drive, and this Kingston drive is one of the fastest SSDs that I've got. Uh, it's also 240 gig, so it's twice the size of the Sunbo that's in there. And uh, as I have updated this loads of times, messed about with it, played around with things, I figured I'd go for a clean install. Uh, and so I've installed Twister OS to this Kingston drive, and I just need to swap out the drive in this case. Now, luckily, this cluster case just has four screws, so I can easily undo that and put the Kingston drive in its place. Uh, I use this cluster case because, well, I can easily switch between two SSDs, but I can also tuck SSDs in between these slots. Uh, so if I'm using something else, I'll often tuck them in uh, so it's nice and tidy. I have very fast access to the SD card slot and everything's all on the same side. It just, for me, is really convenient. Plus the 52 Pi Ice Tower cooler is, uh, is sufficient in passive mode to keep it cool when overclocked. I often just put the LEDs on, but very rarely use the fan. I also have quite nice access to uh, the slots there. I did actually cut this out. There's a separate video on this case anyway. So let's swap that drive out. And pop the new one in. It's not so easy to change the middle drive because you have to take the cluster case apart. It doesn't take long, but it's this is more handy to have it on the bottom drive. Okay, so let's plug it all in. Uh, this is running DeX at the moment, uh, which is uh, from a Samsung phone. I'm just playing around with it for a separate video to do with monitors. So HDMI, obviously I need a micro HDMI. And uh, these short cables are super handy. So micro HDMI, and, it, and they also have a nice amount of space around them as well. So you can plug things in and it doesn't obscure the USB socket or if you've got two monitors in, it's nice and clean. I use the standard Raspberry Pi adapter, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 adapter, which has always been really good for me. Logitech dongle for the keyboard which is nice and handy. CSL USB to SATA cable, which I've found to be uh, nice and fast, uh, pretty inexpensive, and also it's not too long a cable as well, so it's quite neat in this way. Uh, I also have a wired ethernet connection. It's just more straightforward to have a wired connection uh, if you've got it in the same place. My Xbox 360 adapter. This was a great buy. Uh, it's, it fits in. I can slot it in here, and that gives me wireless Xbox 360 control but it also acts like a wired controller. So there's no setting up, no configuring with pretty much everything on the Pi, it just works. Another thing I really like is this uh, four-way plug adapter with also two USB sockets. Uh, so this powers my capture device, my Ava Media capture device. So I'll switch that on, that's the monitor and that's the Pi. So let's move that back out of the way. There you go, so that's switched on so you can see the LEDs. And this Ava Media capture device, it always goes through that uh, because it's very easy for me to capture direct to micro SD card, which means I can put it in my iPad straight away for editing. Uh, you can see I've got audio coming out of here. You can use that straight with a speaker. So if the operating system is sending out HDMI audio, then it will come through this. But I can also unplug that and plug that into the 3.5mm socket on the Pi. It depends what I'm doing. So let's have a closer look at the OS. Now something I noticed straight away was that Konki has been added to the desktop. I really like Konki, uh, although I think the font is really quite small on this. This is running at 1080. I often would run at 720, so that will make it bigger. Um, but uh, I noticed with MX Linux that you can toggle through various different versions of Konki. And I didn't find Konki that easy to change otherwise, but there was lots of presets in MX Linux. So uh, maybe that's something that could be added. Well, let's have a look and see. Yeah, because if you type in Konki, it looks like it's it's been embedded, but it's not there as like a separate entity. Uh, I'm sure you can play around with it if you know what you're doing. But uh, I, the last time I tried to manually change it, I found it really quite confusing. Whereas the MX Linux one just had loads of presets in and I could just flick through them. But it's nice to see it on there. Twister OS dark theme has been added. So if we go to themes and next. So this is obviously, I guess this must be the light theme. So if we click on folders, yeah, so this is the light theme. So if I click on dark, So this looks very nice uh, and things like the folders 
as you saw a bit of a preview before it switched. There you go. Uh, if I switch theme again, and I love the way you can just quickly switch between different themes, Twister 95, still looks great. Uh, and you can see all the icons and things like that look superb. And the theme Twister, you can tell by the font, it's, uh, it's really pixelated, which looks cool. Twister XP. I wonder if I can switch without switching back. Twister 7. I'm going to go back to Twister 10 at the end because it's still my favourite. Uh, so let's go for iTwister Lite. Yeah, really nice. But the one I like the best uh, is Twister 10. And I'm going to probably go for the Lite one this time. I really do like this operating system. One of the things I really like is if you press the Windows key, uh, it automatically comes up with the apps that are available. And if you start typing, so say I wanted something like Imager, uh, I can start typing it and it comes up straight away and you can click on it. It's just really quick, really intuitive, and uh, just nicely laid out. Everything seems to be in a logical place in this one. And all the files look nice, uh, very, very straightforward. Everything. Uh, for me is is ideal and that's why I've stuck with this theme for quite some time now. I notice there's no conkey on there. Obviously I can add it with Pi apps but they've chosen not to put it in with this particular theme. There's an updated Discord app that's mentioned on here. The Raspberry Pi Imager which I just mentioned has been added and they've removed Belena Etcher uh, which I used to use Belena Etcher all the time. Uh, Imager used to be quite basic. Imager is great now. Great for uh, erasing cards great for um, giving you loads of choices of operating systems, just super reliable, nice and fast, really, really like it. So I see from the, it says added Conkey desktop system monitor to Twister OS theme. So that's the only one they've added it into. Added Flameshot screenshot app. So how does that work then? There's Flameshot. So there must be a shortcut to do a screenshot. Oh, it's down here, look. Take screenshot, configuration information, take screenshot. Select an area with the mouse or press escape to exit, press enter to capture the screen. So say for instance I just wanted these icons. Enter. Oh, now that's pretty impressive. So what can I import that into? So do we have something called paint? No, but if I go into graphics maybe image viewer let's go photo gimp and let's paste that in yes to be fair that's pretty handy uh, i like that updated improved twister os theme icons updated twister 10 cursor theme implemented preloading of application menu to improve performance added theme support for whisker menu in the twister os theme Added Twister 10 theme wallpaper, updated wine tricks, updated theme Twister app, updated Twister OS onboarding app, updated Spotlight app, updated Notification Center app, updated README. Just excellent work. And if you haven't used Twister OS before, uh, a big thing about it is, uh, is definitely games. There are all sorts of either Linux games or things like RetroPie in there, things like QJoyPad, which is where you can set up your controller to control a keyboard game. If your particular game that you're trying to use doesn't have joypad support but it uses a keyboard you can actually reassign the keyboards and that works with uh, emulators and all sorts of things within the operating system uh, so dos box is on there so you can play old dos games uh, there's uh, wine which gives you the option to be able to play old windows games and run windows apps on there snes emulator minecraft pi so much stuff in there from a graphics point of view, we already saw that PhotoGimp was on there, LibreOffice Draw, we've got that brilliant screenshot which I really like, Risretto Image Viewer. From the internet side of it, Chromium Media Edition is there, so things like Netflix and Spotify and various other things work that don't normally work under Linux. Discord, as we mentioned, it was updated. Twister OS Web Apps, I covered that in another video, really, really good. Uh, so this is web links, but they're all things that work on the Pi and have all been tested. So you can see there's two pages of games, uh, multimedia, there's various things in here like YouTube, Bflix, Pluto TV, there's Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, social media. So we've got Discord, Kiwi, Messenger, Reddit, Twitter, all sorts of things, all direct links and also some utilities there as well like Evernote and Outlook.
Now I did want to try a game on here because someone asked me if Crunker IO worked. I haven't tried it yet and uh, I don't even know what it is. Or did I try it in something else? Okay, so click to play. So I don't know if this works with my controller, it might do. Now it'd probably be worth dropping the resolution down to 720 for this. Because we're going to get better performance, but it's actually moving, it's moving all right. It just depends what, am I supposed to get that guy? Did he not see me? <laughs> it's going to be loud all of a sudden when I, when I use my gun. Oh. And just to show how I use my setup to uh, transfer over to the iPad. So the Ava Media, I've stopped recording. Well, it stopped recording because the resolution changed. So I can eject the micro SD card, which is that one, pop that into this USB adapter for the iPad. Uh, and if I call up files, I can get a capture video. I can find the file that I've just written. Uh, there might be multiple ones in there. Hit move and I want to send it to user media and I've got a folder called Twisted 2.0 for this project and that's transferring over that last bit of video footage that I haven't edited yet. Okay so I've dropped the resolution down to 720 so you can see everything looks really big on screen now. If I press the Windows key and type in web, I've got Twister OS web apps. Let's try that game again at 720 and see if the performance is better. I still haven't overclocked so you could find that it will work even better uh, with an overclock as well. Okay, so I'm running at 720 now. Everybody else seems to be using a pistol. I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to switch over to that. Oh, God, I got a victory. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, to be fair, that's pretty good. So still definitely my favorite OS. Uh, I just love the way that you install it and you've got all the essentials, all the things that I feel I need on a Pi are pretty much there. Uh, but also because you've got things like Pi Apps and Pi Kiss, uh, you've also got the option of installing loads more emulators, games, applications, tweaks, all sorts of things as well. Uh, NeoFetch is installed on there so you can check uh, various different things about information. Uh, Commander Pi gives you the option of overclocking very simply. So yeah, great work to the Pi Labs team. Uh, it's, it's an incredible system. And this was running without any overclock. Uh, it's running from an SSD, which obviously helps, but uh, without an overclock and I'm still getting great performance. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.